क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट वन द सम ऑफ फाइव कॉन्सिक्यूटिव इंडीजर्स कैन बी हंड्रेड स्टेटमेंट टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द थ्री कॉन्सिक्यूटिव नेचुरल नंबर्स कैन बी इक्वल टू देयर सम विच ऑफ द एब स्टेटमेंट्स इज और आर करेक्ट हेयर वी हैव टू स्टेटमेंट्स स्टेटमेंट वन द सम ऑफ फाइव कॉन्सिक्यूटिव इंडीजर्स कैन बी हंड्रेड इंडीजर्स आर माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री अप टू पॉजिटिव इन्फिनिटी इफ सम ऑफ फाइव कॉन्सिक्यूटिव इंडीजर्स इक्वल टू हंड्रेड देन एवरेज ऑफ फाइव कॉन्सिक्यूटिव इंडीजर्स इक्वल टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी देन दिस ट्वेंटी विल बी द मिडिल नंबर ऑफ दोज फाइव कॉन्सिक्यूटिव इंडीजर्स देन हियर This is twenty. The next number is twenty-one. Next integer is twenty-two. Here it is nineteen, eighteen. Sum of these five consecutive integers, we get hundred. Therefore, statement one is true. Here we can say, if the number of numbers we are considering is odd, then average will be the middle number. Middle number. If number of numbers we are considering is even, then average will be average of middle two numbers. Middle two numbers. Using this, we can find the check whether the statement one is correct or not. Now see the statement two. The product of three consecutive natural numbers can be equal to their sum. Let us take those three numbers as x minus one, x, and x plus one. Then product of these three natural numbers equal to sum of these three natural numbers x minus one plus x plus x plus one. Here natural numbers are one, two, three, up to positive infinity. That means positive integers are called natural numbers. Then, product of these three numbers, x minus one into x plus one, we get x square minus one into x equal to sum of these three numbers, we get three x. From here, we can say x equal to zero, or we can cancel this x and x, then we get x equal to zero, and x square minus one equal to three. Then. x square equal to four. From here, x equal to two or x equal to minus two. Here we want natural numbers, so we have to take x equal to two. Then x minus one equal to one. X equal to two. X plus one equal to three. Then one into two into three equal to one plus two plus three equal to six. Second statement also. Correct. So we can say both statement one and statement two are correct. Option C is the right answer.